क्लास टेन सी बी एस ई मैथ्स चैप्टर फोर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन लेट एस नो द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इज ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन we call it as equation y because it is equated to something it is equated to zero that is why we call it as equation if there is no equal to then we call it as quadratic polynomial so quadratic equation will be equated to zero and the general form is ax square plus bx plus c a b c are integers a b c r constants or integers or for that matter a b c r can be any real number a b c belongs to real number okay any real number may be rational may be irrational okay so a b c r constants and the general form is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 okay now degree of quadratic equation is all is equal to 2 degree of quadratic equation is equal to 2 now let us let me give you some quadratic equations in x 2x square plus 3x plus 7 is equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation in x. So here, this is a quadratic equation and the degree of the equation is square 2. Now we can give more examples of quadratic equations like 5x square 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. One more example, 2x square minus 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. All are quadratic equations. All are having degree 2, highest power 2. And all are equated to something. That's why we call them as equation sometimes you may even have two terms and this is also called quadratic equation even if it has two terms sometimes you may have like this where constant is missing in this case x term is missing here constant is missing even if it is having one term, all these are called quadratic equations. Why? Because they have degree 2. This is not a quadratic equation. It is a linear equation. Why? Because degree is 1. This is not a quadratic equation. It is a cubic equation. Why? Because degree is 3. To identify a quadratic equation, the basic thing is degree will be 2. Maximum power will be 2. 2 should present. Then only we call it as quadratic equation. Is that okay? And the general form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Got it? A quadratic equation can be in y. Let us write a quadratic equation in y. 3y square 4y plus 6 is equal to 0. We can write quadratic equation in z. 4z square plus 7z minus 5 is equal to 0. 
so quadratic equation need not be in x always it can be in y it can be in z let us take one simple quadratic equation and let us know what are abc's this is the general form of quadratic equation and you can identify a value a is 3 b is 5 and c is equal to 7 these are abc values in this way we can get abc values by comparing with the general form of quadratic equation. Let us know the basic difference between a quadratic polynomial and quadratic equation. Quadratic polynomial general form is ax square plus bx plus c. It is an expression. It is not equated to something. That's why we call it as quadratic polynomial. Whereas quadratic equation general form is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So it is equated to zero. This is quadratic equation. So this quadratic polynomial will have zeros. Quadratic equation will have roots. You can get the zeros by equating with zero. By equating the quadratic polynomial by, with zero, you can get zeros of the quadratic polynomial. We can get roots of the quadratic equation. Okay. So zeros are denoted by alpha beta, roots are also denoted by alpha beta. There are many methods of finding roots and zeros. Factorization is one of the method. Splitting the middle term. What I mean to say splitting the middle term. And there are more methods which you learn in, uh, in next class. Uh, there are many methods of solving quadratic equations. So basically in quadratic polynomial, the values of x are zeros. In quadratic equation, the values of x are roots. Zeros are also denoted by alpha beta. Roots are also denoted by alpha beta. The best thing, the best method to solve quadratic polynomial or quadratic equation is factorization. The basic type of question is Check whether the following are quadratic equations or not. Here one equation is given. Let me write the first bit in the next page. X plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into X minus 3. I will simplify this and I will check if the degree is 2, I will conclude that it is a quadratic. If degree is not equal to 2, then I will conclude that it is not a quadratic. First of all, left hand side is in the form of a plus b whole square. It can be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. What is a value? x b value 1 so a square plus b square 2 into x into 1 now here let us multiply 2 into x is 2x 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 x square plus 1, 1 square is 1 only, 2 into x into 1 is 2x, transpose these two terms to left hand side plus 2x will become minus 2x, minus 6 will become 
plus six and zero will remain here. Plus two X and minus two X will get cancel. On adding one and six, we get seven. The degree is two. So it is a quadratic equation. That's all. So x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x is second bit. Let me write this bit in the next page. x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x. Let us multiply these two. Minus 2, 3 is up. Minus 2 into minus x. Transpose these two to the other side x square minus 2x what happens if you transpose minus 6 it will become plus 6 transposing plus 2x will give you minus 2x and 0 will remain here minus 2x and minus 2x can be simplified you will get minus 4x this is a quadratic equation. Why? Because degree is 2. So write on. It is a quadratic equation. Got it? In the third bit, we have x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 3. Let us take the question bit. In the next page and let's simplify x into x is x square x into 1 is x minus 2 into x is minus 2x minus 2 into plus 1 is minus 2 x into x x square x into 3 3 x minus 1 into x minus x minus 1 into plus 3 is minus 3. I can simplify this part. So let us simplify. x minus 2x is minus x minus 2. 3x minus x is 2x minus 3. Transpose, before transposing itself, we can cancel x square. Why? Because this plus x square, anyhow, when it comes to the other side, becomes minus. Or else, if you are not comfortable cancelling like this, just transpose all the terms. Minus x square minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. x square, x square will get cancelled minus x minus 2x is minus 3x minus 2 plus 3 is 1 this is not a quadratic degree is 1 it is a linear okay so it is not a quadratic quadratic equation will have degree 2 x square term got cancelled so here the conclusion is it is not a quadratic equation. The next bit is x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 5. Let us take this bit in the next page. Let us simplify multiplying on the left hand side. We get x into 2x is 2x square x into 1 1x minus 3 into 2x is minus 6x minus 3 into plus 1 is minus 3 here x x the x square x into 5 is 5x 
let us transpose these terms to the other side on subtracting we get minus 5x transposing x square transposing plus 5x 0 will remain I can simplify x terms as well as x square terms 2x square you can check here 2x square minus 1x square is 1x square minus 5x minus 5x is minus 10x minus 3 as it is so it is a quadratic equation why because degree is 2 you can see the general form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c absolutely it is a quadratic equation fifth bit we have 2x minus 1 into x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 into x minus 1 let us simplify 2x into x is 2x square 2x into minus 3 is minus 6x minus 1 into x is minus 1x minus 1 into minus 3 is minus into minus plus 3 here on the right hand side x into x is x square x into minus 1 is minus 1x 5 into x is 5x 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 i can simplify this part 2x square minus 7x plus 3 i can simplify this part plus 4x minus 5 transposing 2x square minus 7x plus 3 minus x square minus 4x plus 5 signs will be changed simplifying x squares i will get x square simplifying x's i will get minus 11x and simplifying the numbers i will get 8 it is a quadratic equation that's it in the next bit we have x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 whole square we can apply formula over here a minus b whole square formula a square plus b square minus 2ab write down left hand side as it is a a is x so a square will be x square b is 2 b square will be 2 square minus 2 a is x b is 2 x square plus 4 minus 4x x square x square will get cancelled transpose these two terms to other side transpose them minus 4 plus 4x is equal to 0 will remain adding x's subtracting numbers so square term is cancelled degree is 1 so it is not a quadratic equation In the next bit we have x plus 2 whole cube is equal to 2x into x square minus 1 here i need to apply formula a plus b whole cube which is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b 3ab square so a value is x a value is x and b value is 2 so let us substitute in the formula 
a value is x a cube a cube is nothing but x cube b value is 2 b cube will be 2 cube 3 as it is a will be x b will be 2 3 as it is a will be x b will be 2 expanded substituted a plus b whole cube is done here i need to multiply on the right hand side 2x into x square is 2x cube 2x into minus 1 is minus 2x i would like to transpose these two elements to the left hand side x cube as it is 2 cube 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 3 2 are 6x square 2 2 are 4 4 3 are 12x transpose plus 2x square can you see plus 2x square over here this plus 2x square will become minus 2x square minus 2x will become Same. plus 2x minus 0 2x. will remain sorry this is not square in fact it is cube now we can simplify cubes 1x cube minus 2x cube is minus 1x cube subtract 1 and 2 you will get 1 put bigger number sign minus is a bigger number sign we can we have only 1x square right as it is we have 2x's we can add them and numbers we have only one number that is 8 so do you think that this is a quadratic equation what is the degree of this final equation degree is 3 it is a cubic equation not a quadratic so just write down it is not a quadratic equation then next bit x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 whole cube right on the left hand side as it is Here you need to apply formula A minus B whole Q, which is equal to, can you tell what is A minus B whole Q? A cube minus B cube plus, sorry, minus 3A square B plus 3AB square easy way to remember if you have odd power you will get minus if you have even power you will get plus and when you have odd power for b you will get minus odd powers ke pass minus aega even power ke pass plus aega kyunki b ko minus hai तो ये फॉर्मूला में सब्स्टिट्यूट कर दीजिए a का वैल्यू x है बेटा ये a है ये b है b का वैल्यू 2 है जस्ट सब्स्टिट्यूट करो a क्यूब माने x क्यूब माइनस b क्यूब माने 2 क्यूब 3a स्क्वायर b 3 a b square that's it four terms degree 3 hai to expansion mein four terms rahenge ek term zyada rahenga degree se thoda simplify karke transpose kariye so x cube as it is 4 x square as it is minus x plus 1 as it is here x cube 2 cube is 8 3 2 za 6 x square 4 3 
ट्वेल्व एक्स ट्रांसपोज करिए एक्स क्यूब एक्स क्यूब कैंसिल कर देंगे माइनस फोर एक्स पर माइनस सेक्स प्लस वन माइनस एट यहाँ आके प्लस एट हो जाएगा माइनस सिक्स स्क्वायर ट्रांसपोज होने के बाद प्लस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर हो जाएगा प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स हो जाएगा यहाँ पर पूरे ट्रांसपोज कर देने के बाद जीरो बचेगा सिंप्लीफाई करो एक्स स्क्वायर को माइनस फोर प्लस सिक्स इज टू एक्स स्क्वायर एक्सेस को भी सिंप्लीफाई करिए माइनस वन माइनस ट्वेल्व माइनस थर्टीन एक्स नंबर्स को सिंप्लीफाई करने से वन प्लस एट होगा नाइन ये है परफेक्ट क्वाड्रेटिक डिग्री टू सो लिखिए इट इज ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ओके